I'm in the Navistar engine diagnostic software. I'm just checking the sit load on this uh, 2010 Max Force the DT. We've been going through them all because we're finding their the levels getting too high. So it says sit loading is at 35. So we're gonna do a few tests and work ourselves up to a, a regen. So this is basic test key on engine off test. And let's get into the right and do a standard test. Start standard test. EGR control, position, engine throttle control. It's running through the system. And it's complete. So now our key on engine running test. Pretty well gotta do this, gotta do this before I let you do anything else. Standard test. And start. Test complete. Yeah, I just checked the injection control pressure and rate control pressure, ICP desired, all that good stuff. Alright. So now we're going to go into the onboard filter cleanliness test. The sit loading is up to 35, like we uh, saw before, and I'm slowly going to the park region. This is where it gives you all the details. Forcing system in region, allowing the user to validate temperatures, dosing events. 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, we met. All ready to go. The engine is up to operating temperature. We won't uh, go in to a regen until the engine temperature uh, is up to operating uh, levels. Okay. up the RPMs. And let's do this for about 20 to 30 minutes. Sit level will slowly, EPS sit loading level will go down. We want it down to about one or two. This guy here. We had one bus, uh, it was a Max 47 that uh, had no power, couldn't get up out of the yard. And we did uh, the regen, you know the DPF, and it totally uh, made a huge difference. The power back, 
So we're going through all of them. Just check them and uh, just uh, for maintenance. Keep it clean. The back pressure would cause a lot of heat in the DPF if you want that because they will uh, definitely fail eventually. Don't want any back pressure if you can help it.